<laughs> Welcome, listeners, to Crossing Borders, a podcast not about immigration. I am your host, Sid, also known as Squidney, and this is my co-host, Josh, also known as Mythic. Grab your passports Hello and join there. us for episode 11, where we will be talking about breaking Brits. But first, let's catch up breaking on bad? each other's... We know, no, no, Brits, the British. You know? Oh, okay, gotcha. That, that little island? Mm-hmm. Yeah. With the the with the, the tea people on it, the tea folk? Uh-huh, with the in it and the mate? <laughs> yeah, in it. <laughs> uh, a disclaimer to begin <laughs> Sorry, the episode. Guys. Anything we say about British people... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Should be disregarded, and we are joking. Yes, it is all in good fun. And you can make sure to make fun of us American and Indonesians mm-hmm. in the comments if you feel justified. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, uh, but do you have a story to share with us this week, Josh? Josh Arino. I have, I have stories, but oh. I think, I think I'll well, I'll settle with again. one for now, and I'll, I'll do uh, I'll do more next time. Ah, uh okay I, no actually I, I decided to do more this time never mind okay. <laughs> so the story um was actually from th- two weeks ago this first story okay um i guess i should say disclaimer if you get queasy with blood or guts or cuts or gore you should skip the the, the time stand that will be set by the uh, this beautiful voice right after this skip to seven minutes and 54-ish seconds. Uh, yeah, you should, you, you should be good about that. Yeah, there's a lot of stories today. Uh, anyways. Anyway, um, this is actually about an, another accident that happened. Um, another one? So. What, you get attacked yeah, by when like I, a uh, gator this time? I'm sorry, what? A gator? An alligator? <laughs> No, 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 it's not, no, it's not that bad. It, it's still quite bad, though. So it's not, I'm not the one having the accident, to be clear. Okay. I am fine. Um, That's good. But I don't think got in the, car the crash same in the goes. Last episode. Ca- ca- wait, ca- car crash. Hold on a minute. Or <laughs> you got that all wrong, man. A vehicular incident. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, uh, <laughs> this person, uh, I don't think it goes the same for this person because I don't think they're okay but okay anyway so there's this couple um actually before we go to that so uh just, let's set the premise i uh okay. was riding in a car with my family uh just just you know uh, exit our home and we wanted to um what's it called go play badminton in a field that we rented already uh, the night before oh. so we went there um it, it was around like i'd say like 7 p.m. ish uh a late night not not quite late actually an early night uh to play an badminton evening and then, with the fam yeah i guess you could call it evening um we were about to meet some people at their uh field as well uh we play with uh, friends of yeah. church uh and then when we were riding the car so um at least how it works with the residential area in my place um there's a, a a bunch of rows of houses built all within a, a certain block. And then this block is all gated off. So if you want to, say, exit from your home, you will, like, go out of your house and then oh. um, turn a right or, like, go to the basically the central road of set block and then go through security check before you go out um, to the main road, basically. So, oh, so um, you got, like, fences we were... around your house and then you have fences around, like, all your neighbors' houses, too, like... A... It's yeah, big. you see, it's it's very secure. I mean, we we do still get robbed. Fences around I mean, a like, group of those. <laughs> <laughs> some people do still get robbed for some reason. I don't know how they get past that, but anyway, um, that's besides the point. We uh were going on the um the central road to the uh security office or a security post um, and then we already arrived at the security post and we saw something 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 was off. There was a a lot oh. of people, some lights, you know, blaring out um, just in front of the post where we were about to uh, go out and take a left uh, to the main yeah. road. And right, like right in front of there, there's like this big river 
Uh, we've talked about this before in the uh, what's it called the From Fires to Floods episode. Yeah, we so talked about the river. Check it out. You should check it out right there. Uh, that's basically our drainage systems, the big rivers, and this big river at the time was quite empty because um, uh, it hasn't rained for a couple of days. But apparently, so we asked the security guard what happened there, and apparently there's this couple who rode the motorbike, um, speeding up, and you know, just basically causing noise pollution from the noise from their bike. But also, since they were speeding, they I don't think they had enough time to break before it was the um the road bump, you know, the ones that yeah. slow cars down. And they actually flew. So it was actually sort of like um, the road where where the central or, or where the security post uh, was. Actually, it's like a bit of like a boomerang kind of shape uh, road. And we came in uh-huh. from the inside of the okay. curve. Um, so on that road, in the middle of it, there's like a, a road bump. And apparently, uh, the couple's motorbike uh, bumped on that um, bump, and it was since they were at high speed, they actually flew um, inside the and fell inside the ri- the big river. Oh, so that was a problem. Uh, I don't really know what happened next after that, but uh, since our car passed the area of incident, there's a lot of people. Uh, some reporters as well was there. A lot of people were helping. The uh, couple tried to get out of the river. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I don't think the guy survived. Um, I, I'm not. I can't say for sure though, so don't quote me on this. But uh, we only saw the girl being um, like, you know, patched up, and her head was bleeding. Uh, so that's not good. Um, and I think that's about it. From like, since we were like, we have we had a. A, a promise already to like meet up with the uh, fr- uh, from friends from church, so we kind of just like passed passed it uh, past the uh, the incident. But yeah, I just want to tell you that I guess because that that was like whoa, okay. I've, I've never intense. like a uh, first hand. Yeah, I've never like witnessed an accident like first hand. But maybe not technically not first hand because we already we saw the aftermath of the incident. But um, or like I've never seen uh, I guess a, an 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 accident. Of this caliber, I guess. Like crisis. Uh, like literally, literally next door to my house. You know, like I mean, it's not. It's pretty yeah, far, that's... but technically still next door. It's, it's oh. kind of kind of insane. The next story, uh, which is the one after uh, this, this actually happened today. Ooh. Um, I had a really fun uh, teacher uh, where I go to. Uh, it's oh, like this cool. cram school I go to to help me study, and this this teacher, uh, he was like sharing stories you know like chatting up while in the middle of like studying and he told us about something i was like hmm, this is an interesting case and i really want to uh tell squidney and you viewers at home uh about this so um so his friend lives in borneo um you know a pl- uh, the one of the biggest uh, actually the biggest island in indonesia and it's uh okay. also shared with malaysia uh, this <clears throat> in this island, their technology and uh, lifestyle is still uh, a set uh, like not a setback or like uh, a bit a bit behind uh, compared to the like Jakarta or something. And uh, okay. um, so he he told so there's like an incident in the village that his friend was living in uh, where you know cows go missing for some reason and then um, goats oh. go missing. Chickens go missing, so they're like, well, uh, I know what what's is. happening here? It's the chupacabra. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's not. Uh, it's chupacabra. a big boy snake. Oh. No, it's not a chupacabra. That works, too. It's a big snake. Um, and uh, they follow the track. They track the tracks of the snake. Uh, they assume it was like going to the water. So uh, since this well, um, the, the area, the they were... <laughs> True. Even though it doesn't have any foot, but anyway, <laughs> it was it is a foot. <laughs> um, yeah, they were. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a muddy sort of area, muddy, wet. It there's water. It's like more, more of like a swamp area where okay, they live like in. Okay, like a marshy so, swamp. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this house, they uh, like his um, my teacher's friend who was living in was like a 
sort of like a stage kind of house, you know, with the poles standing up the house. So it, it's not like set on the ground, I guess you should say. Um, so they tracked it back to his house. And apparently, a big boy snake was living right underneath where he sleeps. Oh. And like under he the was house? freaking out. Or like out. underneath his like, like blankets? <laughs> because like... No, not not exactly under his blankets, but you know, but under um, the, okay, like beneath the house. There's like yeah, a, I'm like, like uh, a sort there's of, like two levels um, here, <laughs> a lake area, uh, ish. Yeah, and uh, that's apparently where the snake's den was, and right above it, well, is his um stage house. Um, I can send you like a picture of a, of a stage house so you can like get what I mean by stage house. Um. You mean the houses that are like on a bunch of stilts? Stilts, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the house is built on top of stilts, and yeah, so it doesn't. Flood. And it has like a, a yeah, it has uh, a, like a room below it, though, right? Like yeah. so, in that space below it, that's where the snake lives. Uh. And uh, he he was he was questioned like, did you smell anything? Did you notice like uh, you know noises at night or something? Like no, no, I didn't. Did expect you hear someone the snake snoring? Was to be, you know. To be that big, I mean, it was a big snake because it can eat a a a, a goat hole, you know. <laughs> was it what kind it of? Snake be a really is big it? boy. Indonesian um, snakes. We're not. Sh- I mean, I, my teacher didn't say, didn't specify what snake it was, but but um, the snake was. They found and captured the snake because it was literally not dying, but more of like sort of a bit paralyzed from overeating, I guess. <laughs> It's just like laying there. <laughs> My goodness, I just found this image of a giant snake in Indonesia. This thing is massive. Oh. Yeah, we have a lot of big 7.8 meters Not... long? Ooh, yeah, well, you see. That is a huge yeah. snake. Probably not the same snake, but... <laughs> when, uh, when your country is uh, based with... Uh... You know, surrounded by ocean, a lot of marsh and swamps. Yeah. You get pretty. You got the cool snakes. snakes. <laughs> uh, the coolest snakes we have here mm-hmm. are uh, rattlesnakes. Um, yeah, do that. cottonmouth do snakes. That. I think. Yeah. Cottonmouth. Yeah. That's snakes amazing. are not cool. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, he, snakes here uh, are. They can get pretty big, not huge, like up to like eight feet long, or just above two meters long, maybe. Uh, but if, if they bite by you, before? you're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> and they blend yeah, in like to everything. So that's what I'm saying. Of course, you have cobras in Indonesia. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I mean, they're not in my area, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, but they're in your country. <laughs> but, but yeah, they, they they are there. I mean, they, technically, they can cross the land. So yeah. I guess I should be careful. We have moose though, and oh. moose are huge. Okay, uh, do you have, per se, an, a, a story to tell? Because if not, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> oh, I, I have a story. Um, okay, then. I'll, I'll, I'll save this one for next time. Or I thought... Oh, yeah. Okay. So, your your gate thing reminded me of a story. I had yes. a different story, but I think I get to tell this one. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, um, okay. So, sure. One dark and dreary night. No, I'm just kidding. It was... Uh, so one afternoon, <laughs> I I get home from school, you know, I just pull into the garage, you know, the garage. As you do, as you do. Um, and there's like next to my neighbor's house because I live in a cul-de-sac. Um, you know what a cul-de-sac is, right? Nope. No. Um, so a cul-de-sac, no. like at the end of a uh, a street, cul-de-sac is like when the there's like a big circle area that's like all paved. And then there's like houses around it. Hold this. Oh, area. oh yeah, okay, okay. Oh, that's okay, really weird spelling. Meaning, uh, a street or passage that is closed at one end. So it's it's essentially a dead end road, but at the end it's kind of like a bulb shape. That way you can turn or, turn around easy. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I, I know. I, I I technically live in a cul-de-sac, so that makes sense. Yep. Well, I also live in a cul-de-sac, and so uh, my neighbor. To my left, if you're looking out to the street, they had like a gray car parked out front, and there's like a pile of like 
it looked like a jacket or like a blanket it was just laying on the ground next to the car and we we're like okay that's weird and then we go inside mm -hmm. don't, don't think anything of it um uh-huh and then i don't remember how it came up but i think my mom mentioned like hey uh you guys see that car out there and i'm like yeah yeah you know what that is from or whatever and she's like yeah i have no idea uh because it, it wasn't our neighbor's car or anything. And it had... Oh, interesting. Well, I think we brought it up like a, a little bit, like a day or two after. And it was still there. It was there for a long time. Um, and we're interesting. like, huh. And, and then I just threw out like a wild thing. I'm like, <laughs> I bet it was like a getaway car. Like, you know, the criminals are like driving through. And they're like, oh, we ditched the car here and oh. run. You know, we got to oh. get away from the, the Don't popo, tell me. you know. Um, <laughs> Don't tell me it actually happened. And the... Uh, later we found out, uh, from the neighbor, what happened was the car pulled up, um, and then the driver got out and just ran off. Uh, <laughs> so he's just off. he's car. just gone. <laughs> uh, and then this, this woman comes out the passenger door and the neighbor talks with her and she's like, kind of like, not all there. She's just kind of like. Uh, vague uh, and like being weird uh, and she's just confused uh, um but yeah it it ended up being like some sort of getaway car and so it was there for like a week or so before the police towed it away because that's interesting. Uh, i guess you have to leave the car there for like a week just in case they come back and get it or something like that um uh-huh <laughs> but yeah that's, that's an, i predicted the few, getaway I'm, car, I'm you sherlock know, holmes <laughs> You are. Apparently you are. Oh, man, that's hilarious. So big brain. <laughs> big brain. Yeah. Big brain. So massive. Oh, man. Swelling brain. That's funny. That's funny. Can't be oh, stopped. <laughs> uh, so big, he's bald. What? No. I have a full head of hair. Thank you. Oh. Very, um. I mean, you can't prove that. fluffy so. hair, you know. I mean, I mean, you, you can't, you can't prove that. You know, I could. So. I could send you a picture. Yeah. But I'm not going to. <laughs> you could. You see? You can't I could send that. you a picture of my <laughs> face. I just crop out my face and just send you the hair. And it's like, this is me. And you're like, bro, that's a picture of Ryan Reynolds. You just, I can see the Oscar background behind it. And I'm like, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. See, see, see. You can't, you can't prove <laughs> that you're not bald. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> uh, there's one thing I learned uh, that was like, before we get into the breaking Brits thing, because mm -hmm. I, I have a, I, I, I have a feeling it deep inside me that it's gonna be a boring one since I won't probably won't understand half of it, just like you did in the Kingdoms episode. No, but, I was kind of <laughs> like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of, kind of, kind of, um, you know, uh, procrastinate on on doing the Brits thing. So I'm just going to tell just a little more story. So I learned today as well okay. from the my uh, my cram school teacher. So. Uh -huh. Uh, in in one of the areas that he visited, or like his friend visited, was in um, what's it called? Papua. I don't know what's it called in English though. I don't think there's an English for it. It's it's near Papua New Guinea, if you know. Like, okay. that's a different country, but on the left of it, it's our territory. Uh, so there, there, there's frequent, and I do mean frequent tribe fights. Um, between okay. yeah, between tribes, I guess, and they would do this. I just learned this like just now, so this is kind of insane. So they used, they actually like used uh, spears and bows to injure each other and stuff. Um, yeah. and as people do, you know. what's insane? Yeah, yeah. What's what's insane is they actually use poisonous arrows. Oh, and to 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 do this, they would um boil some oil and then they will you know put in the oil itself um scorpions and centipedes and then they will submerge their arrows or like whatever spear whatever they're using into said mixture boiled mixture and use that to attack it's like whoa mm. what what insane and then so one of the um um acquaintances of his my or, or one of the acquaintances of my teacher's friend got hit in the near the butt 
and since there was like it was in the middle of the fight and they can't really like you know get clean bandages and whatnot so he had to um break off a piece of glass that was already broken obviously because there's a fight going on yeah and use the glass shard to pry open set skin that was pierced and then pluck out the arrow and then since there's poison in uh, or like a toxin inside uh now already like you know in there yeah he had to ask the help of a friend to suck the poison out um and it's i was like why are you telling us this i mean sure but okay <laughs> so you're telling me that your teacher's friend got shot by a poisonous arrow <laughs> my teacher's uh, my my teacher's friend's acquaintance got oh, hit by an arrow. okay so your teacher's friend's acquaintance got shot by an arrow that was poisonous yeah that was poisonous and he survived he lived to tell uh, the tale well that's that would be sort of like insane. one of the and best also, bragging rights ever like when your friends like oh yeah i uh did this cool thing and you you guys are like oh that's pretty cool and then one of them's like yeah mm-hmm. i got shot by a poisonous arrow and had to like use glass to tear it out of my flesh and uh i sucked out the poison and they're like what and they're like yeah but that was that was just I think a tuesday <laughs> you know i think the room will stay i mean the room will be like silent <laughs> dead absolutely silent, they're like, silent. They're like what the heck did you just say <laughs> excuse me he's like yeah <laughs> yeah it was the same well, re- uh, I, year that I, I negotiated peace between the nations of Barovia and Spinalia. Interesting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think I think that's enough stories for me. Uh, I think we should get into Breaking Bad. Oh wait, no, Breaking Brit. Breaking um, Brit. The uh, yeah, the science. show. Where, I mean, where Squidney will tell me the history of um, br- uh, the American Revolution against the Brits, and hopefully I don't fall asleep. Here we go. Taxes. Do you hate oh. taxes? I oh oh I have a story. I have story about oh, taxes. No. Oh no! you know what? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> do you want me to tell the story about the taxes, or do you want? How to long is the story with the taxes? <laughs> uh, let me check. I mean, not too uh, not too long. I think. Okay. Like, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, there's a there's a case. Where um, there's this company and they were doing tax fraud, right? Um, yeah. So for the said company needs to pay, for example, the um, tax of five million uh, Indonesian rupiah, not not million, actually billion, five billion Indonesian rupiah. Um, but then they couldn't. So they good. like, oh, uh, we don't want to do this. You know, we want to do tax fraud, so it's cheaper. So instead, they ask quote-unquote help from this another guy who was working inside the government and they would like like this smart guy would you know manipulate the numbers and submit a report that actually this company only needs to pay one million uh, one billion uh, of tax you know it's it's fine and they would need to pay this this guy 500 million uh for his um help and I'm kind of angry to hear that. Like, what? And again, this is this is this story is still from the same guy that told about the arrow story. So, like, what? <laughs> How do you know all this? <laughs> he knows and, everything. Um, and he, uh, so his his friend who works in the tax department yeah. apparently told him this story. So yeah, I guess that's the thing, you know. Th- thanks for i mean they, i'm sure I, I hope they get caught and actually brought to justice but then again i i can't say anything about it i don't want to get into trouble or anything that's it that's the yeah. story uh, okay that was a speed run of the story there you go <laughs> so taxes <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> anyway uh us americans hate taxes as well and thus i, I think everyone we killed taxes. all the british the end what? Wait a minute. Hold on. What? Thank you guys for watching. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. That came out of nowhere. What? So, okay. Um, that was simplified version. 
uh, oversimplified one. Yeah, say. maybe maybe a bit oversimplified. <laughs> but let's go way back and ponder the meaning of what it is to be American. It means you live in America. Oh, um, but okay. Uh, so once upon a time, there were thirteen British colonies on the east coast of what is now the United States of America. I would list them 13? all, but I'm probably going to forget one, even though I do know them all. It's just That's I won't lot. remember one of them, you know? Uh, oh. <laughs> but these 13 colonies are called the 13 colonies. Wow, very creative name. I know, very name. clever name. I can't, I can't that. That's <laughs> insane. Very subtle as well. Yes, yes. You know, you have to really think about it to really understand what it's talking about. But these 13 mm -hmm. colonies were British colonies. Um, so it was it was part of Britain. Um, okay. So there's like Virginia, there's uh, New York. I think, was New York an original colony? Wait a minute. So you mean in the beginning of the era, in the, in the beginning of the world, in the beginning of America, there's yeah. only 13 states technically, but they're colonies. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. I understand. Yeah. And um, they essentially became like, like they still exist um, almost as they were as states now. Um, let's see. I'll Google what are the 13 original colonies just so I don't waste time trying to remember. Anyway, well, 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 well Squid is looking for the colonies that he lost. Uh, <laughs> this, this video is sponsored by. Just kidding. Uh, what? No. <laughs> You didn't tell me that. <laughs> okay, the 13 colonies. We were sponsored, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there's, there was 13 of them, obviously, but they were uh, split into three uh, regions, essentially. So there's the northern ones, which oh, were called New England. Okay. There was the middle ones, which were called the middle. And then there was the southern ones, which are the southern. Um, very so i can't believe they they came out with these things. i know americans <laughs> and real? british are just so good with names uh, you know we got new york no we got new mexico you know we're really clever new england um mm -hmm. so the, yep, uh, yep, yep. these 13 colonies there's new hampshire <laughs> new hampshire oh, there's, Massachusetts, new one, okay. there's rhode island mm -hmm. connecticut new york new jersey pennsylvania delaware maryland virginia north carolina south carolina and georgia so these are the 13 oh, OG hey. colonies, you know. Uh-huh. Um, and they were under control by the British because they were part of the British Empire. There was no America. We hadn't yet uh, found no. our dignity. The world is blessed. I mean, uh, it's uh, American pride. Yeah. God bless America. Bald eagle sound in the background. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but there is a war. Not the not the Revolutionary War, uh, or the uh, United oh. States Revolution. This is the French and Indian Wars, it's called. Even though it's not oh. India, it's Native American, but it's called the French and Indian War. Um, but in this war, the British colonies and France fought a war against the Native Americans. Um, for, and they like, massacred land them all. And things like that. But the Human point atrocity. That, <laughs> yeah, we take over the world. No, I'm just kidding. A lot of the uh, American soldiers weren't paid um, from it because the British government, I think the British government was like low on funds or something like that. And so they couldn't like afford to pay them um, what they deserved. So that was like number one or eight. That was like one, one strike. We're like, hey, oh, them, them British people over there across the sea. We're Brits too, but the British, British, you know, um, so, you know what the British did? Uh, taxes. What did they do? Taxes. <gasps> no. And if I turn how on the echo, they? taxes. I love having how an echo, echo knob on my mic. Anyways, but there was taxes right, on now like I want that a echo lot knob. of things. Give me that echo knob. Yeah, the echo knob is awesome. Everyone listening, if you ever get a microphone, get one that has an echo knob. So you can sound really cool. It's really dramatic. You can go like, there I was on March 1st, 1993. <laughs> it was a dark, cloudy day. 
And my mom made me wash the dishes, so it wasn't too bad. You know, things like that. No. Anyways, British. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that. that was a hilarious segment, I would say. Yeah. So, taxes. British put tons of taxes, and so people, first of all, a lot of the people didn't get paid as they should, so they were upset. Um, and second of all, taxes. Have a, Nobody you know, likes taxes. I've said taxes a lot. No, let's, <laughs> let's be real here. Yeah, there's there's a phrase that gets passed around during uh, uh, history classes, which is taxation without representation. It's a little catchy thing we like to say when we're talking about the British. Uh, okay. Because uh, in their parliament, um, they have like a bunch of uh, like government members, and they all vote on things. I think that's how it works. I don't know. I'm not British. Um, <laughs> But essentially, they didn't have they had people representing uh, like the colonies that weren't from the colonies. So all the decisions they made, they had no people from the actual colonies that were there to voice their views. So, well, that would, doesn't sound very fair. Yeah. And that's why it's taxation without representation, because they're taxing us. But they're also not representing us, you know. Um. Uh, for example, one of these taxes, the Tea Act, was passed in 1773 <gasps> to financially assist the struggling the British East India Company by placing a small tax on tea. You know, the British and their tea. Um, when they say small, I don't think it's actually really small. Is probably it? not. This <laughs> is um, just a tiny bit, tiny bit uh, tax of uh, 100%, you know? Yeah. No biggie. <laughs> 100% tax. You have to pay $600. For a cup of tea. No, but... Um, imagine that. <laughs> yeah, people were not too happy, as you can imagine, about all these new taxes. There was, like, stamp taxes, tea taxes, all these random taxes that nobody was happy with. And so Obviously. people are kind of upset. Tax now. everything! Everything! And everything so, that exists, you get a tax. <laughs> he gets a tax. Everybody gets a tax. We're also installing a barber tax. Whenever you get your hair cut, you need to pay the government. No, oh, what? Really? No. No. no, no. no. Uh, that would be awful. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> so, this led to protests. Um, as you can imagine, uh, there's a very famous one known as the Boston Tea Party. And it's not the tea party where you like sit around sipping oh, tea. Oh, wait, gossiping. wait, 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 yeah. wait. Let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. Yeah. Is it the one where they threw the tea boxes into the ocean? Yeah, yeah. Aha! My yes, I got it America. right. Oh my gosh. Watching all those <laughs> watching all those videos actually helped me. My gosh. Yeah. So uh essentially, um a bunch of people, I don't know how many people, but a bunch of guys, uh, they dressed up as Indians, which is like not great, but you know, uh, they boarded the ships and threw 340 chests full of tea overboard into the bay. Oh, oh, I, let, let me guess the, the Brits aren't too happy about that. Yeah, and that's a lot of tea, too. Like, I'm pretty sure, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I remember hearing that they was like dyed tea color for like a week or something. Boston tea. Imagine, party, I mean, I mean, free tea you can just like color. drink out of that, right? Unless you get taxed for it too, then well, the water turned brown. Uh yeah, that's insane. Forty-six to think about, tons of tea. Oh my god, uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of tea. Oh, dear, um, that's a lot of tea. And so the British responded, and they were like, "Okay, we're gonna pass some more acts." Because Americans love acts. Um, and mm -hmm. uh, As you do. in the Americas, they were called the Intolerable Acts. Um, and uh -oh. most people didn't like that. I don't like that name. Um, yeah, I don't like it either. Yeah. And then my boy, Patrick Henry, one of the classic OG Americans, you know. Oh, <gasps> He Patrick said something Henry? like, yeah, Patrick Henry. He's one of the is founding his, is his fathers. middle name Star? Oh, never mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah, in America, we have these things called the Founding Fathers. It's essentially like the group of old white guys who created the country or were important in the Revolution era. Um, and one of these guys uh -huh, was Patrick uh -huh. Henry. 
uh, who okay. was super freedom. He's like, I love freedom. He even said, give me liberty or give me death. Um, yeah. well, that, that's a bit extreme, but it okay. It is a bit extreme, but he is very patriotic, I imagine. He's also dead. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> Does he wear red, white, and blue every time he goes out of the house? That's a good question. I don't know. Hmm. If I ever Not meet him, I will ask him that question. I'm like, hey, my Indonesian friend wonders if you wear red, white, and blue <laughs> often. He's like, yes, I do. America. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, imagine that. that <laughs> Every day I dump tea in the harbor just to commemorate the Boston Tea Party. No, I'm just kidding. Tensions increased. You know, and the British were worried because, like, the colonists were, uh, you know, tossing tea into the harbor. And we can't have any of that uh -huh, now, yeah. can we, in it? Um, no. No, not, 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 not the tea. Mate. <laughs> um, not the tea, mate. No, not, not the tea, innit? Um, but, uh, so there's, like, I'm pretty sure they, uh, like, deployed more soldiers in the colonies. Or, like, had them guarding, like, governor's mansions and things like that. Uh, because uh -huh. uh, there was, you know, civil unrest. These, <laughs> these Brits were, uh, un uh, uh, never mind. I forgot what I wanted to say. Yeah. I'll say quiet. Maybe I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> Around this time, there was a dreadful event in the year... 1770. Oh, no. Dang it, pop-up mm -hmm. newsletter thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> March 5th, 1770. Ads. Let's go. On King Street in Boston. This um, was after, because the T acts um, like for uh, the Stamp Act um, or the, let's see, the T Act, 1773. Um, there's acts in like like, 1754 is when things started, uh, like, with the French and Indian War. Um, so about uh, 16 years after the beginning of the French and Indian War, it was already over at this point, there's the event known as the Boston Massacre. <gasps> no. No, yes. you're not. There is. So, it happened in Boston, believe it or not. So no way! I would have never <laughs> guessed that from the name. What? Me neither. You know, um, there's a re there's a really famous painting of it as well. Uh, this was actually, I think it's a pretty historically. Here, I'll send you the thing. I'm pretty sure like the painting itself is pretty historically significant because um, it was a color painting oh. or a color printing in the newspaper. Um. Oh, okay. Which is not easy to do because you have to like custom carve out the symbols and everything. Yeah, well, fair enough. It's and clear. then you paint yeah, it yeah. every single time. Okay, I'm sending it to there. There. Um. So this image, uh, went in out out in the newspapers <gasps> after. No, no, I know this one. No, oh. And there's no, a I dog in the picture too. Somewhere. Make people feel even worse. No. Yes. How dare they? How dare so, they? So, in the city, there's a lot of British, British soldiers present. And they were guarding a... I'm not entirely sure what they were guarding, but uh, there was a bunch of them in front of some sort of like government house or store or something like that. Warehouse, I'm not entirely right? sure what it is. People in the comments, if you want to... Yeah, okay. If you guys are nerds, uh, you can drop that down below. Also, if you guys are commenting anything about me being wrong about history, go ahead because I probably already made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I mean, while you're down there, why not hit subscribe and also yeah. hit follow if and you're on like Spotify. And like the video and follow or In whatever. I'm used to YouTube. In I have no idea what this Spotify thing is. Um, anyways, <laughs> Spotify. Excuse so, me. So there's people. In front of the, uh, or like, like the officers and the, the soldiers are kind of like chilling there, taking a force of like a bunch of people being mad and yelling and throwing snowballs at them, um, and stuff. 
Oh, okay. Big snowball fight. Yeah. That's why. It's a snowball. That's fight. why it started. Yeah. I guess. Uh, I think there was. I think it was in the winter. At least I did. I I what uh, in history class we watched a movie, um, with, um, about the lawyer who defended the British, who is actually one of the founding fathers. Uh, I can't remember exactly who it is. John Adams, oh. maybe. Uh, second president of the United States. Um, but it was an interesting movie. I don't know which one it is, though. Uh, if anyone knows what it's talking about, why don't you drop it down in the comments? And while you're down, no, just um, so <laughs> oh, no. yeah, they're throwing well. they're throwing things, they're yelling, they're they're throwing rocks even. Um, that's not good. And one of the soldiers um, fired a gun. I don't know if it was an accident or on purpose. Um, I think yeah, one of the officers. And he killed an 11 year old boy um, oh, on accident. No. I, I, I'm pretty sure, 99% sure he was not aiming for the boy. Uh, I don't know if he shot on accident or on purpose, but I'm pretty sure he was not trying to shoot the kid. <laughs> uh, I mean, the British, they like their tea and all, but I'm pretty sure they don't, you know, casually shoot 11 year olds. Uh, and so, as you can imagine, yeah, once that I hit mean, papers, everyone it, it, was mad. Everyone would be yeah. mad. I would be. I'm mad. I'm angry. They shot. Yeah. The Brits, you know, time to break them, Brits. Yeah. Until one thing led to another, and then there's talk of revolution in the air. <gasps> yes. No. Revolution. I mean, yes. And violence, you know, things like that. Here, let me pull up a timeline Chaos so I don't ensues. forget anything. Boss Massacre, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I have no idea what this thing is. Oh, look at you not knowing your history. Well, I just pull up a this timeline. There's some obscure reference. I'm like, I have no idea what that is. And so, um, <laughs> oh, the Tea okay. Party <laughs> <Gotcha>. happened <laughs> three years after the Massacre. Um, so, just to make sure that's clear. Uh, massacre was in 1770. Okay. Tea Party, Boston Tea Party was in 1773. Um, and so before the Boston Massacre, it was all like taxes, um, a bunch of acts that nobody liked, um, the Indian French mm -hmm. War, the French and Indian War, things like that. And then there was the massacre, so people are upset about that. Then there's the Boston Tea Party. Very upset. And then there's the intolerable Wait, what, what, acts. What? Sorry, what? But why couldn't they just, you know, Mend up, you know, if you look at the painting again, they're all wearing the same hats, you know. They're on the hat club. Why not? Yeah. Just, you know? <laughs> Who knows? Get back together, you know, shake hands, pull the trigger. I mean, uh, not pull the trigger. <laughs> uh, anyway, please continue. But, alas, any attempts for peace, like shaking hands... Uh, were definitely outbalanced by people being unhappy. Now, just throwing this out there, uh -huh. most people were not shouting rebellion in the streets, you know, because most people don't do that. Um, uh -huh. But there was a lot of people who, well, ev most people were upset about it. Um, a few people were very, like, uh, obvious about it, you know, Radical Boston Tea about Party. It? <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. and then the, the and then the uh, British dropped a new update. Uh, the intolerable acts software update. <laughs> software update. Re please restart your device. The intolerable acts. Okay, let's see. What was no, in the intolerable acts? I'm guessing all the acts inside the intolerable acts are intolerable. Yes, so. they were all intolerable. Intol. I can't even say that. My English is my only language. <laughs> 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 How can you mess up with your own language? Then? I don't know, man. I mean, it's twelve thirty, six even. No, it's okay. Okay, so the intolerable acts included Boston Port Act, um, which was passed in response to the Boston Tea Party. We closed the port of Boston. Okay. Until the colonists paid for the the tea, and the King of England was like, "Hey, y'all are good. You've uh, you've been." repaid of your teeness um so the you can imagine the, the harbor closing or the port closing 
no trade can come in, no trade can come out. That's not great. Yeah. Not good at all. Economy would be halted and die, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and then there was the Massachusetts Government Act, which is even worse. Oh my, stop with all these acts. Why are there so many? Yeah, the British are like that, okay? <laughs> hey, they you, are you, obsessed with acts. Last time okay. with the kingdoms, you got to list all these different kingdoms and people. I can list all these acts, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. We do <laughs> it differently here in the West. Uh, <laughs> Indeed. Here it's all pen and paperwork. Um, I mean, at least there's no ridiculous titles, so that's, that's true. fun. We haven't gotten to. Uh... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so the Massachusetts Wait, Government <laughs> Act um, essentially was like, "Hey, Massachusetts, you're like everyone's like restricted. Your government's like super restricted now, and the British are now in charge instead of the government of Massachusetts because, like, um, like all the colonies have their own quote unquote government, but they all work under the British government. Mm-hmm, They're like." Mm-hmm. It's like a local government. It's like the mayor, uh, essentially. Oh, okay. Um, but see, for I the see, colony. I see. Um, and so they're mm-hmm. like, hey, Massachusetts, you're grounded. And everyone's like, no. You know? No. <laughs> no. Then there was the Administration of Justice Act, which allowed the governor to uh, have, like, trials and all these, like, judge court things. You know, um, yeah, I see, you do, yeah. I see, you do. And then there's the Quartering Act, which um, was like, hey, British troops, if they, uh, I think this is the right. So essentially, with the Quartering Act, um, this act actually directly um, resulted in something in our constitution. Um, so this act <gasps> essentially okay, said, okay, okay. if a British soldier comes to your house and says, hey. I'm going to sleep here tonight. I'm going to live here for the next month. You had to let them. Oh, oh my God. No. It's like the, uh, it's like the Roman times, you know? <laughs> it's like the Romans. Yeah. Yeah. They're not very original, are they? Yeah. It's funny, huh? But yeah, that directly um, prompts in our constitution... Um, I don't remember exactly how it's worded, but essentially the government can't uh, force you to let soldiers stay in your house. <laughs> um, well, that's good, I guess. Which isn't, it, it's not a big problem in the U.S. Um, you know. <laughs> it's probably annoying to some people. I mean, though. it would be annoying. I mean, most people. Unless they were, you were, they were like yeah, your like, best pals, you know. <laughs> yeah, imagine me showing up at your door. Sit, I live here now. Get out. <laughs> you know? Oh my god. They're like, it. what? Excuse me? I've been living here since I was born. What's what? with the British what? accent? He's like, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, it's you again. Oh. King George. I'm just kidding. Um, hey there, mate. Can I send you to your house? So, you know? And then after you know, all these it's, it's attacks, very vacant in it. Everyone's like super upset. You know, there's, the, there's a tea party. There's the, the, the whatever it was, the, uh, the massacre. Uh, and then there was Patrick Henry saying, mm-hmm. give me liberty or give me death. He made a whole speech about it. And then there's my boy, Paul. Paul Revere. <gasps> oh, Are you familiar Paul. with Paul Revere? No, but I know Paul. I know a Paul. I, know I don't a know Paul. Paul Revere. So Paul Revere um, was a silversmith, I believe. But... He is okay. particularly famous for riding a horse at midnight when the British troops were advancing <laughs> to warn the uh, the Americans or the Ameri- we weren't called Americans back then, but for the sake of clarification, I'm gonna call it that. History nerds, don't don't scream at me. <laughs> so essentially, <laughs> he's famous for um, at night. There's this there's this thing: two if by land, one if by land, two if by sea. Uh, where if the British were coming by land, they would hang one lantern in um, the tower. I don't know. I don't remember exactly which tower it was, but they would hang one lantern in the tower. And then the, um, and then Paul Revere would run and warn everyone, you know? Um, and then if there was, if oh. they came by sea, then they would hang two lanterns. 
That's actually really yeah, smart yeah. way to signal everyone. Yeah. Americans are smart. Well, they used to be, at least. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Self roasting his own country. Yeah, That's I can dope. roast my own countrymen. We roast each other all the time. But whenever uh -huh. someone else roasts us, we get mad. Um, <gasps> yeah. We're all at each other's so throats, but then when the British as... come in, they're like, hey, you guys stink. We're like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so the British came by <gasps> sea, so they okay. hung two lanterns to signal that. Um, so Paul Revere ran around, and he's like, the regulars are coming, or the Redcoats. Um, everyone thinks it's, he said the British are coming, but he didn't actually say the British are coming. But he's like, the British are coming, the British are coming. Um, and everyone's like, oh, crap i need to grab my gun i need to like you know buckle my belt get up out of bed you know brush my teeth real fast we need to go you know uh-huh um eat some breakfast real quick uh, sip of know. tea oh wait no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. how dare you <laughs> and so that was like oh the british are showing up and so this is like the edge of the revolution beginning it was like teetering point oh. you know and then edge of the knife one edge say. of the knife would it fall one way where it fell back to peace or would it fall to war join us next time just kidding <gasps> now it's talking about lexington and concord dun dun, dun. what <laughs> excuse me yes lexi who now lexington and concord okay um sure. these are locations not people oh <laughs> I thought they were names. They do sound like names, <laughs> to be fair. Um, they do, yeah. So, essentially, the gist of it is the British soldiers were marching, as the Brits do. The Redcoats. The British! They're coming! Mm -hmm. You know. Um, sorry. Just had, like, flashbacks there. Uh, but, yeah, you know, back to the Revolutionary <laughs> you there, War. I mean, can't blame you. Uh, <laughs> but, the British were marching. And then there was the American revolters. The Americans. Who were also there. I mean, this is very summarized. Um, but essentially, they faced off. They were, like, there was the British troops with their commander. I'm not entirely sure who their commander was. I think it was General Gage, if I'm uh, remembering that. But I do not okay. remember. Okay. Um, and then there was the Americans. The colonial militia. Of course. The fancy boys. Mm hmm Well, I wouldn't call them fancy. And Actually, they stood there uh, take that back. staring at each other. They were like playing game of chicken. They are like, okay. And they just stood there like waiting for the other one to do something, you know? And the uh, there's this quote. I, I believe this quote is from the same uh, event. But the um, the American leader of the that group, the group of the American side, the leader, the leader of the American uh -huh. group said, "Don't fire yeah. until you can see the whites <laughs> of their eyes," because they didn't have enough Ooh. ammo to afford missing. So they're like, he's like, wait until you oh. can, wait until <laughs> okay. you're close enough that you can see the whites in their eyes, and then you shoot them because <laughs> you're not likely to miss. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh my god, we're not as likely. To miss. <laughs> we're out of ammo, so be careful with your bullets. You know, yeah. save it up. And then there is the mysterious gunshot. Nobody oh. knows which side shot first. It's his mystery. Oh, but there was a gunshot, and then everyone starts shooting. You know, so bang. Bang, 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 bang. Who knows who shot first? It was the shot heard around the world, out. as it is said. <gasps> Two hundred and forty British soldiers versus seventy Americans. Oh no, they're outnumbered. Well, only seven Americans got killed, according to this. Okay, that's that's still not good. Also, um, just to uh, dunk on the British here, um, I just gotta say, guys, it was not smart having your uniform being bright red coats. 
in the middle of the woods. Ooh. Us Yanks, <laughs> as you say, we were all wearing, you know, brown clothes, which blends in with the forest. So we could hide. And there's no way you redcoats could hide. I'm just kidding. They don't use... You do have a point on that. I mean... To be yeah, that is actually <laughs> one uh, major... <laughs> um, uh, that was one major trump card for the... Uh, for the Americans. Because they could hide. The, the Brits just want to be a patriotic. They, they, they want to look... Yeah, they want to look they, professional. They always want to look like the flag. Yes. But then... It, it backfires. <laughs> and then, soon after that... The Revolutionary War officially begun. So, what do you think? Finally, are we getting that introduction. to the introduction? I that was epic. Yes, I love that. And also, finally, are we getting to the juice stuff parts, or are you going to leave us at a I'm going to leave here? it at that. No, <laughs> I wanted some more. <laughs> that was such, it was actually pretty uh, fun to to listen to. To be to be completely honest, I think it's a little bit more better told than my kingdoms thing yeah it's, but then again I, I hated the kingdoms lessons as a kid so again, yeah that's it's why. a little more interesting than going like okay there was this guy who had this kingdom and then there was this guy with this kingdom and then believe it or not yeah I guess, there was yeah, another yeah, guy yeah, yeah, with yeah, another yeah, kingdom, yeah, you, and it's like okay <laughs> we get it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you do have a point with that okay <laughs> but yeah that is the basic summary of the lead-up or the uh, incentive of the American Revolution. Interesting. I love that story. What do you guys think? Do you guys love that story? If you do, go leave a like. And thank you, listeners, for dropping by to listen to Crossing Borders. This has been Sid and Josh. Don't forget to grab your passports on your way out, and we hope to see you next time. Well, goodbye. Bye. Brits, get out of here. <laughs> British, you redcoats. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. We, lo- we love you I'm as a saying, listener. We love you guys. Yeah. We love the Hooray. Brits. Uh, you British made my True. custom set of dice. So, yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Right, right about yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh. <laughs> anyway, anyway stop I, I think we should end this. <laughs>